Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Kalish, and I'm here interviewing Taoist Master San Quinn. And I want to introduce myself just briefly. So I've been working with Taoist Master San Quinn for more than 10 years, let's say, a decade or two, and um, have been intensively involved in this Taoist practice, and it has uh, significantly transformed my life in, in many ways, uh, a whole variety of ways, which hopefully you're going to be experiencing too. And um, what is quite remarkable about what is happening here, which, as he and I have joked about, I didn't think was possible, is he has managed to put a Taoist healing session and the full experience that I've had working with him over all these years into an app. And when he first started talking about this years ago, I thought it would be a great idea, but I had no concept that it was possible to mimic what a real healing session has been like in my experience all these years. And I've been using the app. In fact, I used it more than once because I didn't really believe it. And it has uh, paralleled the exact same experience I get working one-on-one -on -one in private sessions. I think that's a remarkable thing. As we get into the discussion and the interview here, uh, it's just something for you to keep in mind that it's uh, a unique and special time that you can actually be able to experience this without having to travel, without having to have a private one-on-one -on -one session, that you can actually experience the Taoist healing fully with an app that you can access on your phone. So I think that's quite remarkable. And maybe we can start there. Like, how the heck did this even happen? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, how did you, how did you, how did this get put together? How is this possible? Well, you know, um, when you start looking at things in a, on a deeper level and, and the realms that we've been working in, in the metaphysical uh, uh, term or form, and when you put together the idea that the human being is basically the sum of atoms, you know, we have all these different things that are compiled together from physical anatomy. And honestly, what people don't realize is everything that you experience as a human being starts with a thought, an emotion, and a feeling. And how do you quantify that? How do you qualify that as, a, as an individual? Well, that has to do with your experiences what's happening in your life on a daily basis. And if I was to take a moment and ask you to look back at an event, a place, a person, a thing, every single second of your life has to do with a thought, an emotion, and a feeling. And so how do you put this in, a, in, in, in some sort of a way that people can find it tangible and practical for uh, an application like an app where um, you're able to basically through this app master yourself. The skill is to master yourself, your ability to change your state. So understanding that, you know, uh, human beings have brain waves that are being altered on a daily basis due to whatever they're being exposed to visually, audibly, they create a kinesthetic response. Now, these are three major pathways that human beings use to learn. And so, in a nutshell, um, using these ancient practices that have been around for thousands of years, we're able to put it together in a contemporary offering. And it's what you witness, what you experience within the way 126 experience that is evoking all these uh, feelings and uh, changing the the state that you're in through the material and the sound. And it has that kinesthetic response, which is so dramatic. You're feeling that electric charge, the energy that comes yeah. with it. Yeah, you know, when I'm working with doctors and doing my doctor training, one of the things we talk a lot about is, you know, who's an appropriate patient to work with, you right. know, who, who was a good fit for what? And I think in, this is a healing experience. And I, I think there's sort of a spectrum. There's people who are actually quite sick. They might have a chronic illness or something really wrong with them. And then there's people who are incredibly healthy, but just want a wellness practice. And I'm wondering, 
who do you see benefiting from this? Is this for people that have health problems? Is it for people that just want an anti-aging health benefit effect? Or what's the kind of perfect person and how does that match up with what the benefits of the experience are? Well, you know? the beautiful part about this, Dan, is um, it will work on anybody. As long as you're a human being and you have the physiology of a human being, you are going to reap the benefits of um, the effects that are taking place within the app. So um, from a metaphysical perspective, what we're doing essentially is we're aligning the energy centers that connect you from the earth to the universe. And that's why we talk more about it um, from the perspective of what are the fundamentals of this app. We're working with quantum physics. We're working with epigenetics. We're working with Ni Gong. We're working with Qi Gong. Now, when we put these components together, you're having the experience, the 126 experience, that is a, a basically giving you the ability. You are you are creating new synapses in the brain, new energy highways, information highways that you are developing this skill to change the state you're in. Yeah, you know, when I, I spent several years in Asia, maybe three or four years total, living in monasteries, working with these different Buddhist monks, and I think when I was ready to come back to the United States, one of the things that they really dwelled on was that, I was like, okay, what do I do now? I'm leaving my enlightened master in Japan or in Thailand. And they're basically like, don't bother. You know, don't bother. There's no one in the United States that's enlightened. There's no one you can really study with. You're right. on your own now, kid. Right. And um, I think that a lot of the meditation techniques and apps and things that have hit the West are really, this is not a put down, but this is just an observation, right. are really psychologically based techniques right. where you learn how to breathe right. or you learn how to calm your mind or you try to be one with your food that you're eating or be all zen about something. And I think my experience in Asia with the real masters was that that had nothing to do with anything. Right. Like the, what we look at in the West as being meditation were the after effects or the side effects of having a spiritual practice. Right. And so I feel like what has happened mostly in the West is that the whole spiritual and mystical element has been completely stripped out of these practices. And then they've been presented to Westerners as quote unquote meditation or mindfulness things. And that would be like, it's taking out the most important part. And I feel like somehow this, what you're doing is different because it has maintained the spiritual and mystical component. And rather than being a psychological technique that you learn to calm yourself down, it's more of an experience that's happening to you. So could you get into that a little bit? Like how yeah. it's fundamentally not something you learn, quote unquote, like you learn how to do a relaxation exercise. It's right. a completely different oh. component, uh, right? It's Absolutely. What, yeah. a, what a great observation. It's you're, you, you are developing a skill. You are not um, learning a pattern that will briefly give you relief for the moment that you're in, which is what you touched on just briefly in the last minute or two is um, that's great to get a Band-Aid for, you know, an injury or a cut or whatever. But the truth is, for it to actually heal, you have to go inside. There's something more internal about that. And and this is where we're working on the brain waves and your, your ability to change those brain waves at will through the material that you're experiencing. And so... At the end of this not first nine-week experience, the 126 experience, the individual will have developed the skill to change their state within 126 seconds. And that is fundamentally different to um, learning a pattern of breathing, spending a few minutes to be mindful. It's almost like, okay, you're acquiring the ability to be aware the difference is you're only aware of what you're aware of and you're unaware of what you're unaware of. Yeah. And yeah. I, I do believe that the side effects of the app <clears throat> are mindfulness, a meditative state, 
you're not trying to achieve those things. It's just a natural organic outcome of what you're doing. Right. Yeah. Right. Very yeah. good observation. Yeah. And, you know, um, developing the ability to change the state you're in at will. Now, in most cases, as a Taoist master, as you've trained with, you know, Buddhist monks, you've been to monasteries, you've experienced uh, a much heightened level of um, um, spiritual, uh, you know, ex exploration. Um, there is a there is a, a a masterful skill that we come to a point where you acquire this ability to access the energy, the source, the frequency of the universe, or more commonly what people would consider the quantum, you access that, synchronize yourself, and it's generally a rule of thumb. As you become more um, developed in your own skills, you can acquire that at a mass, much faster rate. And that's why as the individual goes through the nine-week experience, they are becoming more and more empowered with their ability to change the state they're in. And they, they achieve that goal even faster every time they do it. Yeah, another aspect of Taoism that I find unique is that the Taoist masters were interested in health and longevity, not for some superficial personal gain, but as part of their spiritual practice. And I'm wondering how you've put these lifestyle factors into the app or how it includes things that are more than just the pure energy part of this, but that yeah. also include the things that people can do in their day-to-day -day lives to yeah. augment the practice. Yes, yeah, very, very good. Um, uh, there are three major elements to the Way app. Uh, first uh, and foremost is the 126 experience, which um, is the first nine weeks of um, a nine-level transformation. So um, that in of itself will activate the first nine energy centers you, the individual's connection between the earth and the universe that will put them into a completely different state that they've ever experienced and their ability then to um, change the state they're in even within after nine weeks of training now uh, we also have longevity which is another component of the app which we go deeper into um, uh, mastering the, the individual's exposure to um, uh, yin and yang energies, or more commonly known as hot and cold. And th that adaption to those uh, temperatures affect fundamentally the chemistry within your physical body and have, you know, you acquire a another skill um, through those training patterns to, to basically um, refine your physical body and its ability to be more efficient um, through lifestyle choices that you make. Again, there is also um, touching on the lifestyle choices, how you eat, when you eat, what you eat, are all fundamentally components of your own development. As you mentioned just briefly, the the Taoists are, are far more focused on uh taking this physical body and extending its experience within uh, this lifetime. And so minimizing the amount of exposure that, that the physical body has to the human being experience so that it lasts longer. If you use the analogy, you know, you, know, you drive your car, you want to put oil in the engine so that the engine continues to run. When you remove the oil from the engine, it'll overheat and it'll break. So we look at all aspects of that experience, not only a, a spiritual or mental emotional experience, but the physical component. And can you speak a little bit about why you, why now, why this material mm -hmm. isn't coming out of China? What's the mm -hmm. history behind what happened to the Taoists and the Taoist movement and, right. and how this is obviously being resurrected now. Right. But what, why is that? And what's the background on that? Well, you know, um, there was some, you know, pretty, um, heinous, uh, how, how do I put it? Um, 
dictators that were controlling uh, China over the last hundred years that have absolutely um, controlled or limited the information that was being released from China, and especially within Taoism. Um, and uh, it, it, it became a, a, a lost practice or a, a lost um, philosophy. And um, there's been a resurgence over the last uh, 20 or 30 years as we've moved out of a certain type of um, dictatorship that there's been the ability for the, the, the rising of or, or releasing of, of that information um, as a, a Taoist master or priest myself, uh, the information has been less accessible. Um, I feel like it's my place to just offer that material uh, uh, to everybody as an opportunity to heal. I am given the information, I share it with others, and, you know, translating it to a, a, um, a, an acceptable, like, a layman, a digestible sort of like experience, not something that um, I have to go through, you know, uh, 36 weeks of in, intense training under uh, certain circumstances that will give you the ability to find that enlightenment. We've sort of created an environment where it's now accessible to anybody who wants to experience change and we've put it into a contemporary offering of an ancient practice, ultimately the Way app and the 126 experience. So the philosophy and practice of Taoism has been around for thousands of years. It's just not as accepted because there hasn't been enough people sharing the information or wanting to share the information. It's very powerful when... Um, when you're given the tools, you start to master yourself. And the key for the way is to master the individual, to master themselves and give them the ability to change the state they're in, change the direction of their life, how they perceive their reality, to bridge basically the gap between the conscious and unconscious process so that, you know, um, Consciously, most people don't realize they're only operating at three to five percent of the whole, the whole picture of your day. The other ninety-seven to ninety-five percent is running um, unconsciously, and you're not even aware of what's going on. And so, this this app helps the individual bridge that gap, so you become more aware of everything around you. You become extremely refined and sensitive to what's going on in your life. And then you start making decisions that are, are at a higher level of awareness so that you don't just wake up one day and realize that you signed a mortgage for 30 years on a house you never wanted, or you married the wrong person and you had no idea that I wasn't even there when they were you know, signing the marriage papers. Or, you know, I made a mistake. I went to the gym, I woke up, and I'm in another state. People do these things all the time, and they're they're fundamentally confused as to why there's so much sort of like, you know, dead space between events, and it's all how you have developed these skills and how much you're operating in certain brain waves to bring in that information to change the state that you're in. Yeah, you know, one thing that strikes me is that. In integrative and functional medicine, the circles I run in, mm -hmm. it's very <clears throat> fragmented. Some people are paleo, some people are vegan. People do breathing exercises, meditation. They recommend supplements or herbs. And there's no unified principle. But one of the things that I see with the Taoist practices that you've put together is that it's a well-worked-out system that's been around for literally thousands and thousands of years Integrative medicine has been around for like 50 years. Okay, that's not very much time for us to get organized. But that it includes a lot of, if you look at what's popular now in integrative medicine, like, oh, wait a minute, plant-based diets? Taoist. <laughs> Breathing exercises? Taoist. 
cold plunges, cold therapy, Taoist, heat sauna, Taoist, uh, the mental changing of your state of mind. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And it's like, I don't think it's easy though to find a system that's been put together, which covers all these things. So I'm wondering if you could say like, how do you, what's your vision for how people would use the app as this, because it's a lot more than just, you know, this couple minutes a day where you're getting an experience, right? You're trying to create, I don't, I don't want to use the word community, but it's not really a community, but you're really creating a whole broad picture for people. Oh, that's the system, or I don't know what the right term is, but you've built yeah. something. It's a very, it's unique. It's a very comprehensive system of th things that are integrated but have been that way for thousands of years. You're not yeah. in integrated medicine. It's like each individual doctor pieces together their own thing, but this has been pieced together, you know, for so long right, that right. it works. Right. And then, you know, it's like thousands of years of head of its time in a way, but it's old. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. No. So, so it, yeah, I'll speak on that. Um, it's a, a really good point that you're making, Dan. Um, what people don't realize is, uh, human beings are introspective, analytical. They're they're fear based. That's how you come out of the shoot. Why people are like? Well, what what do you mean? Um, uh, and, and almost as if um, the glass is half empty. Um, it's the primal instinct of survival, because that's how the human being is wired. The nervous system is wired that way. You are wired to uh, survive. So fight or flight is, is very much integrated into your your very breath, your very uh, perception of your operating of your day because, you know, let's just say the, the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex 10,000 years ago is now, you know, not enough likes on Instagram. So we're, we're changing how the, the individual perceives their reality by what material that they're they're taking in on a day-to-day -day basis. And so what's the most confusing part for anybody is is mastering their feelings or the idea that, you know, someone else makes me feel that way. Well, in truth, when you look deeper, your emotions don't control you. You control your emotions. These are, they're always choices. Yet the, the content or the sum of the individual is the sum of their life experiences. And those life experiences are what they consider their reality. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we're constantly putting out fires because we're reacting to this emotional state. Which brings me back to what I was talking about before. Every single thing as a human being, you go through an event, it's either a thought, an emotion, and a feeling. You couple those three together, and these are experiences that you have as a human being on a minute-to-minute, hour-to-hour, day-to-day basis. This is this, the, You string those together. This is your history. This is the lifeline. This is the sum of your life experiences. And so how do you get that information? How is it solidified in your mind? How do you run these stories over and over again and looking for a different outcome is why people get trapped in their mental emotional state. So you have to change that. And how do you do that? If you're wired for survival, the world is no longer occupied with Tyrannosaurus rexes and human beings. It's just a human being and Instagram. That's a first world problem, Dan. So now we have this situation where you have this integrated primal instinct of survival that is introspective, analytical, half glass empty. You also have this primal instinct of flourishing, prospering, developing, creating the skill that you have to open up all these doors to other things that would not normally be accessible if you're running away from a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now you have these skills where 
as quickly and as masterful you are by letting your emotions shut yourself down, you can open yourself up. And through the last hundred years, it's been measured that, you know, you know, the the guy with the, the, the scraggly gray hair and the overgrown mustache, you know, measuring going deeper into the quantum physics, making that a staple or foundational understanding of how the human being is interconnected with the universe. And then you put in the fact that, um, you know, uh, we have been discovering and, and, and looking at in much deeper level how, uh, you know, human genes, their, their expression, what happens when you have gene expression, you have chemistry change. And what we've discovered through epigenetics is understanding that you are the sum of your environment. Your thoughts change your reality. So you have these two components. Then we add, you know, Nigong, which is basically moving energy with your mind. Qigong, moving energy with your breath. You integrate these four components plus the 11 herbs and spices, proprietary ones, that create this experience 126. You're taking a human being that has been trained to survive with a limitation through natural primal instinct and you're now opening that human being up to the possibility of anything that can be possible, anything that can be manifested, anything that can be created. And through that, by changing your brain waves, you synchronize yourself with the universe. And these are all things that have been measured, quantified, and are actually now a standard as, as a baseline to understanding how Human beings are interconnected throughout the whole world, not just the idea of. It's been measured. It's been proven as fact. So now where do you go with that? You have human beings that are originally wired for survival, primarily, yet they have the same potential and skills to, to be blissful, happy, joyful, uh, content, 24 hours a day. It's a choice. So everyone wants to be happy. Everyone wants to be blissful, joyful, content, yet they've been trained with this primal instinct to survive, to regress, to limit what they do because they want to wake up the next day. They want to uh, replicate. They want to they populate. That's the basic instinct of a human being is we need to create another human being through the cycle of life. And so when you get someone to understand that you can change these states through their brain waves, and they can do that consciously, now you have some incredibly powerful tools for the individual to change the state that they're in. So they don't have to accept what is going on with them right now. They have the ability to alter that, but it's trained. You create new synapses. You create new energy information pathways in the brain through the information that you're receiving. And so, you know, every human being is taking in 140, 200,000 points of information all day, every day. And out of those 200,000 points of information, they may be aware of seven and retain two. And so where, where does all this stuff go? Well, you, you know, you have an unconscious that is operating your every whim, your every action that you're, you are not aware of. Again, once again, measured to be fact. So we want to have the understanding that we're interconnected as human beings. We want to have the understanding that we're interconnected to the universe or the quantum field. Now, to change ma uh, matter to wave is up to the individual. How is that possible? Well, you know, you, like anything, if you want to master something, you must practice it. So this material, the 126 experience, was designed specifically to give the individual these tools, these abilities to master their own state. And through the sound, 
through the uh, visual, you will evoke a kinesthetic response. And so what does that mean? That solidifies your consciousness that it is real, that electromagnetic charge, that we are all made up of energy. And so when you watch it, when you hear it, you will feel it. That will be the click in your consciousness to change the state you're in. And when you perform it and you're able to use your intention to change your state by developing these skills through the 126 experience, then it becomes real. That is your truth. Not my truth, not John's truth, not Mary down the street's truth. It's the individual's truth. And that's the most uh, profound part of, of this app is the individual is mastering the skill. Um, it's not my perception. It's only true until you say it is. The truth is only what you believe. Yeah, and what you experience. So like with depression or anxiety or sleep problems, insomnia, mm -hmm. it sounds like a lot of that is repetitive thoughts or a, a, an inability of the person to be able to disrupt these tapes that are running. And... Is that kind of what you're addressing now when you're saying that you're able to, well, some people are going to be able to learn how to change their mental state, basically, through these through. other means, not right. not through thinking more about their mental no, state, right? not but at all. Like get, approaching it from a different angle, it sounds right. like, right? And you will resonate with that. As you develop these skills, you will be able to sink into and capture that brainwave more consistently which you want to stay in an alpha theta brainwave. Yeah, see, because what's interesting is that you're not addressing changing of the mental state by providing a different mental state. Mm -hmm. You're providing a, it's not really a workaround, but you're providing this comprehensive solution which has the effect of changing your state. Is that accurate? Right, right, yeah. By yeah. using other things. You're, well, we're just using the ancient tools that they've right. been developed and, and, and practiced and refined and cultivated over thousands of years. I've just brought it to a contemporary offering of an ancient practice. And so now the user has that ability. And you know, what was one of the major skills of the masters, of the monks, of the priests, of the, the teachers of the past thousands of years is you master your state, you, you refine it. And truly when you start looking at, uh, neurology and neuroscience, um, quantum physics, everything is instant. We're not, you know, pondering over it, uh, working and, and work around it, uh, uh, cultivating it for, you know, hours, days, months. You're accessing instant change because that's how the event, the place, the person, the thing, the thought, the emotion, the feeling, that's how it took place instantly wasn't a progression so in with logic you would say well if it comes in instantly it should leave instantly and when you understand that that's really the framework that we're working with and creating a coherence right so what this does is it aligns all your energy centers the first nine energy centers between the individual earth and the universe and you're syncing up the coherence of the heart and the brain, which then ultimately affects the gut. Now, from a Taoist perspective, that is, you know, the upper, middle, and lower Dantian. These are energy centers that hold numerous different elements. But let's, for um, fundamental sake, with the understanding of the individual that's watching this right now, we want to create a coherent state. And to create that coherence, to align yourself with the quantum, sinking the heart when you create coherence with the heart it creates coherence with the brain which creates coherence with the gut now on a much deeper scientific level you're you're transmitting information so um the heart has been found and this is this is fact it's been studied for many decades that you're transmitting information from your heart frequency from that magnetic frequency that is being projected from your heart into your field and normally 
most people say they've measured it 12, 15 feet from the human body, but in actuality, as we know, it's, it's infinite in of itself. But let's just say for scientific sakes, it's within 15 feet. But, you know, if you were to measure someone doing a, 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 a distant healing, that person's on the other side of the world, and that's where we go back to the reference of quantum physics and understanding that you don't need to be in the same place to experience that change. So you're transmitting this packet of information from your heart, and they've measured it, and, and, and quite frankly, right now, they're able to measure um, your mental state, your emotional state, through this information that's being projected from your heart, creating a coherence, a heart rate variability that is constant. And then with that, the brain takes that message. So the heart sends the message up through the parasympathetic nervous system to the brain and then sends it down into the gut. This is where we talk about this universal language. I led with my head. I thought with my heart, I feel a gut. I have a gut feeling. These are all things that people use as a, a universal language that they may not even understand on an unconscious level. They're talking about it all day long. If you were to reference it, you, you may have well used that type of terminology throughout your lifetime. Everyone's done it. So you take in this information. It then is given to the brain. It goes down to the gut. And when you align these and you create a coherence, a synchronicity, your gut reaction is right every time. It's not a, oh, it's a 50-40, uh, you know, I live with my heart, it was a 30-20, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm constantly thinking too much, well, it's an 80-10. No, when you align these frequencies on the electromagnetic field in your body, these energy centers that have been proven for thousands of years, not just within Taoism, but all different types of um, uh, belief systems, and we can go on and on and on about them, but they're, they're, they're a hundreds, if not thousands, um, the basic architecture, the energetic architecture is very similar. And so when you create that alignment, the information becomes quite accurate. And um, all of a sudden, now you have this ability, this, this mastered ability, like the masters before you, like all the thousands and millions of people before you that have, done, have been working with this material you, you receive that lineage, that knowledge, that appreciation, that gratitude that you're receiving within this app. You're getting that, that power, that charge, that energy, that connection. And so you are now mastering yourself. You're mastering a skill. And that's the first way to shift your consciousness. It can only be real until you say it is. It's not for me to tell you when something is real. Your perception of your reality is yours and yours alone. And to change that, we shift the conscious to the unconscious to conscious process, and we bridge that gap. So you're not only aware five percent of the time; it continually becomes stronger. It's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, fifty, which, in most cases, people would think was, you know, unobtainable. But it's actually quite easy to master when you are practicing and cultivating. And ultimately, in the end, once you do the nine weeks of, of 126, you will be able to master that skill to change your state within 126 seconds. And that's it, instant, instant. It's not a, a temporary. It's your skill. You've developed it. You've acquired it through your experience. Yeah, a couple of things about the app that remind me of healing sessions with you also. When, when is that? You've been talking about this as well. One of the, there's a strong visual component to the app. So you see different representations of energy that somehow clears things and just changes, you know, your perceptions. And there's the auditory. There's a lot of sound going on. And um, that has a certain vibration that's clearly doing it, having some effect. And then there's... Um, Oh, the app, the options to choose th things, because as you go through the app, you're able to choose and modify how it's presented to you based on what your perceptions of colors are, or these planetary choices or choices around the stars or, um, uh, so the app doesn't, the app is adapting to what your current 
moment uh, of what the current state is. Yeah. And then using visual and auditory changes to shift things. And then somehow all that's wrapped into a package of different types of energies. I don't know how we say it, but the visual is affecting energies. The audio is affecting energies. You have, you're bringing your own energy situation to the app. So it's taking that into account. In a sense, it's personalized because each time you go through the app, it's adjusting to how you're coming in. Yeah. I mean, that's, I don't even know what to, how to put words in. Pretty sophisticated, I guess I would say, or um, I guess any kind of deep healing experience is going to have to have all those components to it. Um, but it's, it's hard to explain it until you experience it. Let me just put it that way. I'm trying to summarize it for people yeah. so they have an idea about why they might want to try it. Yeah. Um, because you get all those things simultaneously. Um, and that's pretty unique. I've never seen anything quite like that before other than a personal session, which is obviously, um, you know, great also, but not realistic for most people to be able to do all the time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, certainly not every day. You can use the app every yeah. day. And... Yeah, yeah. No, it's um, it's it's very unique, but it's it's very much needed. Um, the the main purpose, the goal of this app, is to empower an individual ability to basically create whatever reality they want through their own development, and so you become more aware of the power of you as an individual and your skill set, your, your uh, fundamental access to the universe. And with that, you acquire the skill to master the state that you're in by using the energy and focusing the energy with your breath and refining it and moving it and changing it and this is all part of the bigger component where you know as you get into level two three four and ultimately nine which is a is a process 90 95 90 percent of people are going to go through the first nine weeks and be completely empowered as an individual um as you continue to progress if you choose to which most people are so overwhelmed with how excited they are that they've developed and mastered a skill that they want to continue to develop and master the skill. That's what the, the Taoist practices are for, to help that individual continue to raise their vibration, elevate themselves in their own consciousness, because that's really how you empower yourself, being more aware of everything around you, being able to concentrate and focus on anything at will, that is a mastered skill. And what I've discovered and realized from what's around is there, there, there are not any products that I'm aware of that even come close to being giving the individual user the ability to do that. And that's something that I'm very grateful that I can share with the world so that they can continue to develop and grow because it's all about empowering the individual's ability to change because everyone stays in that fight or flight mode and they don't realize they have the same power to do the complete opposite and have the most fulfilled, enriched, joyful, blissful, happy life. And it's their choice and they have that skill. We just have to awaken it and give them the ability. It's already within them. Well, just in conclusion, I want to thank you for putting all these years of effort into building this tool. Uh, because when I sat down and used it today, and it felt like getting a three-hour private session with you, and it was all on my phone, I mean, that's it's quite an accomplishment. And I think it's going to be something that is um, just an amazing uh I don't want to say tool, but an amazing avenue, an amazing way of having uh, so many people exposed to this work that you've been doing for so long. So I uh, appreciate all the work you put into this and that uh, you're launching something that's really never been done before. It's very exciting. Well, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful that um, I can share this with you, share this with the world and give people 
the tools that they need to empower themselves so that they can be the master, the keeper, the creator of their reality. And that all has to do with awareness. And that's exactly what this app does. It empowers the individual user to change the state they're in through the skills that they've acquired through each and every level of this app. So ultimately, in a nutshell, you're going to activate all the energy centers uh, between you and the universe and the earth. And um, uh, over the nine levels, you're getting up to 81 different energy centers. Nine right now, the first nine weeks, people are going to feel overwhelmed with feeling empowered to be able to do what they want to do. And as they continue, level two through to nine takes you higher and higher with that frequency. And it's really limitless to the possibility of what the user can do. And it's developed for that user experience. It will morph to that user experience and what they receive from it, what they get from it, their perception, their development, their language, their skill set. It's about them. It's not about anyone else. And that's what's most important when you're looking and discovering the mastering of yourself is your own perception. And so I'm very excited to share this with the world and I look forward to seeing the change. Thank you. Thank you, Dan.